Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory. Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We lift up your name today, oh God, and we thank you for giving us just another opportunity, another day to say amen. We thank you, oh God, for bringing us to the final day of another work week, a Friday, oh God, in which we are grateful to see a day in which you made. And we will rejoice and be glad. And I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. I thank you that your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. I thank you, oh God, that if we really were to think about it and meditate on it, we would know that you are a faithful Father, that you stick closer than any friend, that you are the glue that holds any family together. And, Father, we just come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts and attitudes of gratitude, oh God, praising you for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're getting ready to do. We thank you, O oh God, that you know our rising up and our laying down. Before we speak our thoughts, you already together know them according to your word. And so, Father, we ask you to continue to be glorified as we testify, as we glorify your name, as we bring you out of just the book and just the Bible and out of just an idea, but we really, really, really are able to talk, tell, and share with each other how we experience you right now in this season of our lives. We thank you to your very present help in a time of trouble. I ask your God to prepare our hearts. I ask you to prepare our ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying with the ear of the learned. I ask your God that even while you're pouring your word into our hearts and our minds and our souls and our lives and you're washing away all the gunk and the junk and the soot that we picked up inadvertently along the way and sometimes intentionally, that you cleanse us and that you purge us with your love, O oh God. And you let it lead all that we are and that you purify us, O oh God, as only you can and restore our souls. I thank you for leading us in the path of righteousness for your namesake. I thank you, O oh God, that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of coronavirus and unemployment and dysfunction in our society, that you lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake and you are with us and we don't have to fear any evil your word your word your word commands that we fear not for you are with us and be not dismayed because you're our god yes you will help us yes you will strengthen us yes you will uphold us with your righteous right hand so i thank you oh god for eradicating any fear frustration anxiety any apprehension any lies of the enemy we cast down those imaginations and every high thought that might exalt itself against the knowledge of you and who we are in you and i thank you oh god that you just have not given us a spirit of timidity or fear but of love and a power and a super sound of mind i thank you oh god that everywhere in your word it talks about mental, emotional, psychological, and even physical stability. There's nowhere in the word where you tell us to be weak and trodden down. Your word says that we're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. That you are our banner of victory, Jehovah Nisi. That in your name we'll wave our banners. And so, Father, I thank you that we have victory. I thank you that we can shout it to the mountaintops because of who you are. That we have no reason to be cowards. We have no reason to fear. We have no reason to allow foolishness to prevail in our lives and other people with their ungodly and unrighteous and unwise counsel to confuse us in any way whatsoever, spewing lies and daring us to tell the truth. But I thank you, Father, for confidence in Christ. I thank you for giving us boldness. I thank you that we are fearless and intrepid. I thank you that we are bold and we speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help us, God, with a fire-baptized tongue. Teach us this morning, O oh God, and we will learn, and we will be hearers and doers of your word. I thank you, O oh God, for using us as display cases. I thank you, O oh God, for using us as oracles. I thank you for using us as individual and collective ministers, teachers, preachers, and anything else that you want to use our submitted temples and tools for your glory. I thank you, Father. It's in Jesus Christ's name I pray, and I say hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Well, this is what most people who work.